Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Deandra Michaela here and I'm back again with another video. So today's video, I will be giving you guys the tea, okay, the major keys on university slash college. So if you are new here, welcome. Hi, my name is Deandra. So click down below and subscribe to my channel and join the family we're trying to grow over here and if you are not new welcome back um, I'm glad you're here to watch another video um, also give this video a thumbs up and follow me on all my social media and let's just get into the video That's all. That's all okay guys so I have 10 UE freshers tips for you guys university freshman tips college freshman tips I have 10 tips for you guys today okay so I have them all listed right here um, and I'll be diving into those right now the first tip is do not take your courses lightly I cannot stress this first tip enough guys you see them here none of them here no matter okay when you step foot into UA, your CAPE slash CSEC grades do not matter, okay? No one asks you what, like literally nobody asks you how much ones you get in a CAPE, how much tools you get in a CSEC, nobody not ask you that, okay? The lecturers don't care. Um, the second one is make sure to tour the campus so you know where your classes are. I can't, this is another helpful tip, guys. Um, during the UA orientation they do do a campus tour but it's not really as in-depth as you would need it so I advise you if you are living on campus or you know you're there on your orientation um, I advise you guys to go in deeper a little bit deeper around the campus and actually go and like if you have any friends that are second year third year students you can ask them exactly where classes are naturally held um, you know you can go around the campus and search for your classes because on the first day of school you do not want to be walking around like a headless chicken asking everybody where this and this class is because you don't know third tip if you have a break before class please study or read ahead um, this is a tip that I got from my girl lavish Ruby um, that I watch religiously I love her channel guys but yeah this is a tip that I got from her it's basically that when you have because they're you're not gonna have classes like back to back like you did in high school you're gonna have like two hour break an hour break three even three to four hour breaks before you have a next um, lecture so I advise you guys to at least go and read a read ahead of the class that you have next or study the class you had before or something like that just do some reading guys because Trust me, I didn't use this tip in my first year and it came back to haunt me. I promise you guys this tip will help you guys. Number four, um, save your money, okay? When you go to UA, trust me, them have almost every single fast food you can think of where you need to eat, but save your money, sis. Save, yeah, listen, save your money. Okay, you do not need to buy KFC or Little Caesars every single day. It's not worth it. So it's like save some of your coins. Your birthday is coming up. Your friend birthday come up. Your man birthday come up. Save some money. Because you know when you want to go road and do road, you're not going to have no money. Because you come to school every day and you buy KFC. You buy big box, all of these things. Save your money. Number five. Okay, so if you guys have been going through your... um handbook um if any of you guys are in social sciences or any other faculty caribbean caribbean civilization is a foundation course which is mandatory you have to do that course right it is a foundation course it is a base like a base course for your degree so caribbean civilization is a major um course that you have to do um if you choose to do that course well, it is a first year course. So, yeah. 
that course guys do not take that course lightly okay i know probably some of you guys who have um second year friends or so you've heard about the um critical reading and writing course which everybody claims to say is so hard guys trust me that course is not as hard okay you legit just have to read and read ahead and basically just do what you need to do because that course comes with a lot of assignments a lot of um um before class um homework and stuff like that all you need to do is just basically do your work and pay attention in your seminars and you'll be good for crit because i passed crit on my first go so it's not really that hard you have some people who come to you and they do crit and they legit have to do the course like a second time in their second year or third year so it's really not that hard guys all you need to do is just basically go to class pay attention and do your assignments that is for crit but caribbean civilization guys please take heed to this specific course because that course can come under and bite you like a snake okay that course it's like it seems really free and airy and you know just really easy going you just go to that class it's really boring okay you just go to that class you just go in you just listen to the lecture no okay no let me stop you right there you see caribbean civilization you need to pay attention in that class because you see the assignments that you will get they will sneak up on you okay they will sneak up on you and those teachers do not ask for their assignments until it's due okay they don't come in class and they don't remind you like okay guys remember you have two more weeks to hand in the assignment no the people them do business them don't care they will legit come to class and teach and it's like legit two days before the assignment is due or a week at least if you get a, a nice lecture at least a week before the assignment is due they will come in and say guys remember you have this and this um assignment because once this the course starts and they let you know all the assignments that you have guys you need to start working ahead if if it's two weeks three weeks before start working ahead on your assignments for caribbean civilization um number six um it's not a fashion show so dress comfortably to school guys i'm not saying you can't pop out and look cute some days like but not every day like you have some people that they legit dress up like come to school like it's not that serious sis or bro it's not that serious like trust me ain't nobody checking for you okay sometimes you can't cute but you know guys you know where it is just dress comfortable get two crocs you know get two slides and some sweatpants and some leggings and cause are there ain't nobody have time for you dress up you know one bag of different something come to school every day you know okay number seven do your tutorial questions by yourself or try to do them before going to your tutorials guys i learned this the hard way you see all these tips are basically what i learned throughout my first year from my experience um but yeah doing your tutorial questions or trying to do them will really help for you to understand the material more guys because if you just go into the tutorial and you're just like go and just I'll write down everything with the the, the tutor i say are like you know you don't really understand exactly what is going on then the tutorials will legit not help you at all and they're here and they're there to help you if you try to do it yourself you will more than likely grasp the concept of what you're doing and then it will be better for you in the lecture itself so yeah I'm giving you the major major keys this um number eight make sure to make your own notes guys trust me making your own notes is essential in university guys like listen you're gonna have some classes Carib Carib civilization is one of them where you're legit gonna go in the class just to listen to the lecture okay excuse me you're legit just gonna go to listen to the lecture and jot down a few points but you will never and i repeat never never in your university life will you get notes like what you got in high school okay 
you'll never come in a lecture and get like specific notes like you have to just be in there listening jotting down things that you think are important things that um may seem important from the slides you know stuff like that you will get your slides on a um website called orvieli you will have the lecture slides that you can um go on and you know write notes from that or you know try to get a textbook for the course or some of the lectures if they're nice enough they will have additional notes um for the courses so some of them you really don't have to worry about really taking notes like that but when you're in the lecture i advise you guys to actually try to listen as keenly as possible because sometimes they drop some key hints that they don't put in the slides or in the additional notes. So sometimes you really just have to listen and try to make your own notes. Number nine is to make sure to plan out exactly what you want to do at UE because you don't want to be stuck doing a program or some courses that you don't want to do or stuck doing an extra semester. So is it that you want to do a minor a double major stuff like that you have to think about that um in your first year look at the um prerequisite or prerequisite courses make sure to look out for those because once again i'm talking from experience guys you have to make sure that you look out for the courses like that or make sure you're doing the right courses because if you choose to do a minor in a next um, program or you choose to do a double major the prerequisites will haunt you because if you don't have that course you cannot do any other course um, in your latter years because because you don't have the prerequisite for that course and that has reached me before because no because I don't have one single course I can't do the minor that I um, want to do and stuff like that so I advise you guys to plan out all of those stuff in your first semester of your first year because the second semester you can use that second semester to do all the additional courses that you need to do for the minor or the major that you want to do. Number 10 is to register for all your classes early and because before you know it the classes will be filled and them close off and once them close off you have to go request an override and when you request an override it's not a sure thing for it to be approved and it's just one bag of chaos and when you go you have people in a in a the lecture room where you can't get no seat like people went off and did it stuff like that so just make sure say you book not book but register for your courses early so when you go there you know say you must do it and you know like some like additional people where you know yeah so just make sure you say you register for your courses early you can thank your girl for dropping the gems for you guys okay um about my first year you experience and some freshman and some freshers tip for you guys because trust me okay if you don't have friends in second year i want to shout out all my second year like friends that helped me out in um my first year i want to shout out all of them everybody who tell me things who make me understand the system even more basically just more I shout them out if they want watch the video here. and yeah that's basically it guys um i hope you guys as i said before appreciate this video if you are a first year enjoy your first year of university you know welcome to ue um it's a really nice place it's not as bad as people make it seem guys trust me it's not that bad right guys but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video once again please give it a thumbs up for all the gems that i dropped sis okay and don't forget to follow me on all my social media they will all be linked down below comment some other video ideas that you guys want me to do and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys